Hello Aries, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. There's going to be a general reading for you to be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, the Drop the D3 Tarot, because she'll read for you as well. Thank you. <laughs> I just heard someone say, give a dog a bone. <laughs> give a dog a bone. Someone's stressing and needs something to kind of stimulate, release some tension or release some aggravation and irritation. All right, so jumping into this area is what they're showing me. Uh, they're definitely up and fired up, that's for sure. I feel like there's an energy of kind of, not only energy, but also air of confidence and determination in their energy um, with how they're moving, because there definitely is something here, financially speaking, that they do kind of feel like is right up their alley of what they can kind of work with. It's a nice energy because it's very instinctual. They feel like whatever this is that they've been given or presented they're moving forward with it, but right away, it's like they find out that even instinctually, kind of like, you know, their second nature, um, for some reason, it almost kind of seems and it feels initially like they're kind of inexperienced or new to this. But that's what's so very fascinating, because even though they, they kind of show me and present this energy of like, they just don't know, um, they're, they're going through the emotional response like they just don't know, even though they're saying, you know what, I'm doing the best I can, I'm doing what I can. Um, and that's what's so very fascinating is, whatever this is that they've been given or presented, they're even having to take a step back from themselves to kind of figure out like, wait a minute, it actually is working out for me. Um, and I don't understand that. It's like this energy of overcompensation. Overcompensation. You know, it's like someone who presents themselves, you know, as like a showman. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm this, I'm this. And then all of a sudden the audience is like, well, then how come it doesn't feel like they're all that, but they speak and say they are. Um, there's an energy about they get what they want to get what they're after, but because there's this energy of kind of like uh, self-doubting themselves, um, it's interesting. There's an energy of, like I said, give a dog a bone the way they respond to it, it's kind of like, you know, they, they growl and they snarl and they're drooling. And it's kind of like they, they have pit bull locked onto this thing. Um, but they also don't, at the same time, they don't show it. That's what's fascinating. It's kind of like, you know, it's like the, the dead stare. It's just dead silence. You know, they, they lock down. Well, now what are they going to do? <clears throat> Ooh, this is between the two of you. This is between the two of you. Oh my goodness. Once again, wow. So Libra showed me the energy of the Baphomet. Now you're showing me literally the energy of the Baphomet. Either Aries or Aries Crosswatch, or who you're dealing with, or asking about. Um, throwing up the horns, huh? Okay, we'll go with it. 
Uh, speaking of Libra energy, there's Libra energy. <laughs> okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <clears throat> Yeah, what is this interaction between the two of you? Yeah, literally, what is this interaction between the two of you? Ooh, hoo -hoo, and another person on the side. Um, look at all the people. There's a third party energy in this. Um, I feel like it's a bit of a play on energy, though. The two of you are dancing around one another. Now, like I said, I don't understand why they present that energy. Um, it's almost like you're responding in such a way, Aries, where you're kind of like, well, what's their deal? What's their problem? And that's what's so very fascinating is because you're, you're more so in this energy of like a softer, softer approach as you're dealing with them. And that's what kind of, you know, makes you nervous because the two of you are in some type of relationship, commitment or marriage with one another. You're ultimately kind of like, great, now what are they going to do? It's like, what's their what's their na next grand trick or their next grand show? Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, the theatrics in this shit. Um, and now watch over here. They're going to summon the devil. It's like, okay. <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this part of the show? <laughs> uh shit. Don't worry, I got it under control. Now, what do you, it's like, what are you going to, how about this? What are you going to do once it shows up or once they show up or once, you know, what are you going to do? Because that's what's very fascinating is they're, they're like saying that there's definitely some sort of new start for the both of you that they want to start up. But they, it's like they're, they're trying so almost desperately to force this and push this. Um, and it seems like, and it feels like it's with you, Aries, which is fascinating. It's like. They're wanting to create some sort of new start, a new beginning, but is it with you and for you or is it for them? And that's what's so very interesting. It's I kind of feel like for some reason I'm looking at and sensing some sort of ultimatum situation here where they're kind of like, well, I am um, They may be even stressing about you too, Aries, because maybe they're trying to get you to work and put in more effort towards the finances and the investments or the security. But you look at them kind of a little bit sideways like, huh? Um, cause they show me, they have this intent to try and get you working and you doing more so that you can kind of meet them halfway with the finances and the security between the two of you, as well as this relationship. And what's fascinating is you kind of go through those process areas of like, huh, you're even, it's like, it's interesting. You consider it, but they go through the process too of like, well, what's it going to be? Is it going to be me or is it going to be you or is it going to be us? And that's what's fascinating is they even show me this this consideration of well if we're going to make this work together then we're going to make this work together aries it's there's no if ands or buts about this it's an energy like i said it feels like an ultimatum um because there's also this consideration of well if you're not going to make it work with me aries i've got someone else on the side that i have a connection with that i connect with that i do find attractive and appealing that i'm going to go pursue that or pursue them just and it's like okay um, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, an earth sign, or a water sign. They're all here. 